Hello and welcome to my first live gameplay commentary. I'm super excited to be doing this. I'm new to this game, so it took me a while to figure out how to be able to record my audio and my video at the same time. But here I am. So, we're going to get started. Um, I think the goal of this session is going to be starting a new game. <clears throat> and please bear with me. I have a little bit of ca chest congestion, so if I'm like clearing my throat or you hear some minor sniffles, I'll do my best to edit out as much of that as I can, but some of it might slip in. So I'm just going to apologize right up front. So uh, our first gameplay stream was Mega Man X. However, I'm having a hard time for some reason finding a version of that game that will work with retro achievements and part of this stream is I really would like to show you guys how retro achievements work and kind of base the overall let's plays around getting retro achievements so I am gonna be addressing the Mega Man X issue and we'll go ahead and probably restart that at some point um, I think for right now, just consider episode one of the Mega Man X playthrough as sort of a proof of concept. So that being said, uh, I've been going over in my mind what games I want to play for this channel, and I think to start out, I'm going to focus on stuff that I know really well. So with that being said, I'm thinking Super Metroid. One of the greatest games of all time would be perfect for this stream. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, this first episode, I'm probably going to keep it between, like, we'll do it in, like, 20-minute chunks. Just because, I, you know, I don't want to keep people too long. And, you know, it'll make it easier to, to catch up with episodes and stuff like that. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll go longer depending on, like, how my schedule is. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like. Do you want to see kind of longer Let's Plays? Do you like the smaller chunks broken up into multiple episodes? Maybe you'd like me to maybe you'd like me to take a Saturday afternoon and just play through the entirety of a game for three or four hours. Just, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the achievements for Super Metroid. So we can kind of come up with a game plan. <clears throat> Excuse me, because like I said, the purpose of this stream is going to be 100% uh, completion for all of the re retro achievements for this game. So going through here, overwhelmed Ridley, beat Ridley at Sarah Station. That's an interesting one, considering that that fight is not winnable. So I'm not exactly sure what they would mean by that. Uh, quick escape, so can we escape Sarah Station with at least 40 seconds left? Okay, so these two seem to be very specific. So I'm thinking for more specific achievements like this, uh, maybe we'll do that in a second playthrough. Like, I don't want to keep going through the, the beginning of the game over and over and over again. Uh, right off the bat just to get these two achievements. Maybe I'll get them just by playing. We'll see. I'm gonna try. But I'm thinking that these are something that we could come back to. So let's continue down the list here. Why can't Metroid crawl? <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's getting the Morph Ball. First missile pickup. Okay, Bomb Torizo, first boss. Alright, so it's looking like a lot of these very nice. I love the names. This is all community sourced, so I really have to applaud the uh, imagination of the community. I mean, they are great. I don't know if you're over on the Retro Achievements website, if you've activated Retro Achievements for your Bitbox. If you haven't, you need to. Um, the directions to do so are included in your quick start guide so i mean the community I, I i can't recommend it more just because the the community is so amazing 
Um, you can be active on the forums there, go over strategies, just kind of connect with a lot of like-minded people. So yeah, like I said, if you have not linked your console to Retro Achievements, I can't recommend can't recommend it more highly that you do so. All right. So let's. Uh, that being said, let's kind of go through more of these and see what we got. Okay. Okay. So this looks like we just. So how the reserve tanks work is uh, if your health gets down past zero, this will give you a, a, an extra 100 life points. Um, I mean, we can do that. I think that may happen in the course of the game. Uh, but we'll see. So, piercing shot. Okay. So, everything on here looks like... Yeah, it looks like the vast majority of these will be obtained via regular gameplay gameplay rather like the the, the vast majority uh, looks like a few here though completionist achieve the best ending my first game. okay bare bones bounty hunter complete the mission with only three e tanks and no reserve tanks all right, these are hidden techniques. I may actually have to kind of defer to the experts on these um, just to see how they're done. I mean, like, I know this game really well, but some of these little... These are, like, hidden techniques that if you let the game go and you watch, like, the intro, it shows them, but it doesn't, it doesn't explicitly tell you how to do them. So that's something that I might need to look up to perform. Yeah, that's all these. And up here, these are gonna these are gonna retire. Uh, these are going to require separate runs, right? Like, so I can't do completionist and collect 100% of the items, and then also complete the game uh, in less than three hours. I mean, maybe if I was like an uber speedrunner, but definitely couldn't do it uh, with only three energy tanks because that directly contradicts this achievement, right? So, um, just by looking at this achievement list, I think we're looking at at least at least two playthroughs. Um, so, yeah, that's okay. We're we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't care how long it takes. Could take weeks, um, but hopefully, you know, you guys will want to go with me on this adventure. So, yeah, super excited. Can't wait, to, can't wait to get into this. So yeah, let's start by uh, jumping right into the game. Nineteen ninety-four feels like a lifetime ago. I think that's coming up on thirty years ago. Widely regarded as the greatest game of all time. All right, so I definitely—I always need to switch my controls here. I like Y and B for those. Dash is A. Item select is select. Cancel is X. All right, everything looks good, and we're gonna start. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Yeah, so I think um, we're going to play through the first 30 minutes of this. Just because I have some other things I need to get to today. But yeah, we'll do the intro. I mean, we'll see about getting that defeating Ridley achievement. Hopefully um escaping I think that was 40 seconds I can't remember I have to look, uh, look at the achievement again but we'll see I'm just gonna try and get the hell out of the space station as fast as possible and see if I unlock the achievement but that could be possibly something that 
will go through using uh, the wonders of modern technology, save states, after we do this run. We should be able to grab the vast majority of these achievements with just like a normal play through the game. I'm not sure if I've ever collected 100% of the items in this game before. So we may need to seek assistance. Where's Nintendo Power when you need it? I think at the time, when I first played this, besides Final Fantasy IV, this was like the most cinematic thing I'd ever seen in a video game. <clears throat> this and like Ninja Gaiden. I do remember being blown away by the graphical up upgrade between this and the original Metroid. I just remember thinking that this was like, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Looked like Ridley murdered all those people. And here's the baby. Alright, so... Destroying Ridley. I didn't know you could defeat him. We'll have to see... What that means. I'm just gonna keep pumping full of lead. And see if I can, uh... Oh, try not to get hit. so hard to dodge. Like, I don't know. Oh, come on. second achievement. Oh well, we'll have to uh, try those again at some point. I may have to use some save states. I like how she knows exactly where to go. She's like a woman on a mission. No beating around the bush. Let's just go. I know exactly where to go. I know where the space pirates are hiding out. <clears throat> so it's back to where the first game began. Planet Zebs. Zebs. Zebus. I always called it Zebus. I don't know if there's like a canonical pronunciation of it. But I always called it Zebus. Place seems pretty abandoned. Can't really do much yet. So this is the the it 
you actually go through the end of the original game, like all the same spaces at the end of the original game. So this is, in the first game, this is where you had to escape when the timer was going down. This is where you fought Mother Brain in the original. Kind of makes you wonder why in the original game she just didn't go in through the back door. Alright, so now we head down to Brinstar. Love how atmospheric it is. And this is where you spawn at the beginning of the original game. Alright, let's grab the Morph Ball. Why can't Metroid crawl? Yeah, I think that's a play on, uh... Back in the day, people, like, in the schoolyard and stuff would call Samus Metroid. Okay, we got a missile door here. Only one way to go is down. Nice. Some missiles. Pack a punch. Appropriate. Two achievements unlocked. Heck yeah. We're... Hopefully they all come this fast and furious, right? Yeah, no chance. Alright, so these red doors take five missiles, exactly. So I do know in here, there's an energy tank. Speedrunners can get it right away. I'm not that good. And we'll grab another missile expansion. So I'm thinking for this first episode, I'll probably call it a day when I get the, the bombs. I think that's where we'll end it. So that's everything we could do down here for now. So we're going to go back up the way we came. Oh, see those faces are now lit up and they're like looking at me creepily as I go up the elevator. Oh, now we got space pirates. They know I'm here. That's what that camera must have been doing. Ouch. Okay, I can jump. Can you jump, Samus? I know you can jump better than that. Alright, we gotta fart away up here. Actually, I kinda want those missiles. I do not want to get hit by their laser. Oh! I was just about to say, I don't want to get hit by their lasers and I jump right into one. That's, uh, skills. That's Elite Super Metroid speedrunning skills right there. Okay. I'll just keep heading up. Oh. Try not to get ambushed. I was thinking about getting into speedrunning. I know this is the like, the perfect game. I mean, this game pretty much created the speedrunning genre. Or at least popularized it. Because <clears throat> this game is designed uh, for speedrunning, basically. I mean, it... It, uh... Keeps track of your time. There's tons of, like, hidden things that aren't explicitly stated that allow you, I believe this is a dead end, um, that allow you to skip portions of the game. Secret techniques that they don't even tell you about in the, in the manual. of criteria. Sweet. And another achievement for the collection. Okay, we got a safe spot there. I just want to be up front that I am 
going to be utilizing save states to a limited capacity in this run. Um, there'll be two ways that I'm using save states. I just want to be up front. Um, number one will be... Uh, uh, they're mainly going to be used for dividing these episodes up so that I can just come to a a good stopping point. I mean, that was the original intention. I mean, I, I don't want to bore everybody with like, oh, hey, I gotta run back to a save point to end this episode. I don't know. Maybe I will do that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to play it traditionally like that. Also, let me know if you don't care. But I think, yeah, for right now, I'm gonna... I will go ahead and use safe points within the game. Maybe if that becomes not so practical in the future, I'll just use safe states. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think, I, yeah, I'm going to try and keep this as legit as possible. You're not supposed to hit me there. Whoa, I'm not doing as well as I know I, I know what I do here. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta step it up. That was that was a poor showing. To get my achievement though, either way, game didn't care. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is go to the next, go to a safe spot, and we'll call this episode one. Again, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see longer episodes, or if you like the, you know, between 15, 30 minute chunks. I mean, I figure I could do it one of two ways. I could do more frequent, shorter episodes, or I could do less frequent, longer episodes, so... Yeah, again, in the comments, let me know. Alright, give it a nice save. We've unlocked some achievements. Um, I think what I might do is, like, before each episode, kind of go over what achievements we've unlocked, what we're going to try and unlock for that episode. But yeah, I mean, this is a new thing for the channel. Um, I'm hoping that you all enjoy it. You know, please... Let me know in the comments below what you think, uh, what you'd like to see, uh, if you have any, you know, if you have ideas for other games that you'd like me to play. Um, since I'm doing it in an episodic format, you know, I could always go back and forth between different games. So yeah, let me know. So yeah, that that all being said, um, this is the end of episode one, and I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.